Good morning. As we continue to look in Genesis, uh, chapter 43 is where we will be at. And the brothers have returned to Egypt to get more food. They brought Benjamin with them, and they are brought to Joseph's palace. As they get to the palace, they find the palace manager, I guess you could say, and they want to tell him that somehow or another their food that they received before the money was returned to them. They told him that, and listen to what he says, because I think it's a clue to the brothers that something different is going on here. In verse 23, he says, Relax, don't be afraid. Your God, the God of your father, must have put this treasure into your sacks. I know, I received your payment. Then he released Simeon and brought him out to them again. Now how would an Egyptian tell them that the God, the God of your father, must have put this treasure back in your sack. That should have been a clue to them that something was going on here that was out of the ordinary. The God of their father. The, the, the Egyptians thought Pharaoh was their God, along with some other gods. So there was a clue to them that God was in control and that something strange was going on here that they had not figured out. So they go on. He takes them into the palace, gives them water to wash their feet, provides food for their animals. And then it says in verse 26, When Joseph came home, they gave him the gifts they had brought him, then bowed low to the ground before him. This was fulfilling the dream that Joseph had told them before fully because they bowed before but Benjamin was not with them this time all the brothers were there and all the brothers bowed fulfilling what Joseph had said would come true in his dreams that they would all bow before him one day so I want you to think how God's in control of this situation Joseph is in control and things are working out as God had planned and Joseph is taking care of his family and they have a clue that something is going on here that is beyond normal. So we get clues in our life too sometimes, you know, that God is in control. We just have to listen for those clues and apply them to the situations that we're in. Think about that today. God bless you and have a great rest of the day.